It was a peaceful Saturday morning, as David was enjoying his favorite novel for the third time. He loved reading in tranquility, but little did he know that shit was all gonna change. Hey David. Sam. I just got done with a little workout. I was hoping to unwind, maybe play some mad and you in. What were you doing? I was just uh, throwing the ball around. Upstairs? Yeah. The fly is down. Come on. I need someone to play against. You know I hate playing against What's the community of life, Sam. <laughs> What are you talking about? What is the meaning of life? I don't <laughs> understand. What is the meaning of life? Sam was quite troubled by the thought. Sam was quite troubled by the thought of this whack-ass question that David fronted him with, and he thought that this question was so out of pocket that, Hey man, um, I'd really appreciate it if you could stick to the script. Man, I'm just doing me. Okay, um, but if you could stick to the script. Yo, man, you hired me. Why not write for my voice? Listen, we don't have this studio for very long, so just stick to the script and continue. This man trying to bring me down. David's question was too deep. So deep that Sam had to search his soul. But like a dude whose girlfriend asked him why she found another woman's panties in the underwear drawer, he just couldn't find the answer. Do you have an answer for me? Do you have an answer for me? I heard what you said. I don't have one. How the hell am I supposed to find the answer to a question that people have been pondering for centuries? I talked to a pigeon for 46 minutes today, David. 46 minutes and I swear it talked back. Do you know what it said to me? It said, read a book and then flew away. So no, I don't have a goddamn answer. Find it. I just... Find it. So Sam embarked on his journey once more. He decided to look at the question a different way. A way that opened up doors faster than a dude running out of a house when his girlfriend got stray heated after finding out why he had another woman's panties in his underwear drawer. Quickly. Quickly is what I'm trying to say. Stick to the script. This new way of thinking got the answer knocking on the front door of his brain like a dude whose girl got We get it. Now bring it back. Sam got the answer. And now it's time for him to take it back and present it to David. Do you have an answer for me? Yeah, I, I think I do. You see, I first went at it assuming there was an answer, and I was so consumed with pinpointing it, I went right over my head. But that's the thing, I don't think there is an answer. There is no true meaning to life. We all just found ourselves here, assumed that there was a rhyme or reason, a purpose for us to all walk this world. But everybody's purpose is different. And that's why you just gotta find the thing that you love, whether it's a career, a hobby, a person, or if you're lucky, all three. You just need to find it and hold on to it and, and cherish it until you're gone. Sam, you know I just asked you all that to get you out of the house so I could finish my book, right? Yeah, I... I guess I did. Oh, hey. Proud of you. Madden? <laughs> all right. Let's play some Madden. And so, David and Sam both got what they wanted all along. Like a dude who planted a pair of panties in his underwear drawer to get his naggy-as-hell girlfriend to break up with him.